Hello everybody. If you have an amateur here, I'm Greg. And today we're going to talk about tools. Hand tools. You know, you're out camping, dispersed camping, boondocking. You're all by yourself. You're totally self-reliant. You heard you need a shovel and a hammer. And if that's all you got, you're really not ready. So let's take a look to see what I take for hand tools. Well, the first tool you need is something to get you out there where you want to go. Now we've got a Forerunner TRD off-road. We have yet to go out on our first trip, but we're getting ready and we're getting excited. Next Monday's the day, a week from today. We have a place all picked out. We've been there. We scoped it out, and uh, we're excited and we're ready to go. First time we've been boondocking in, well, I don't want to tell you how many years. More years than probably most of you are old. All right, but anyway, since then we did a lot of camping on our boat. We had a boat, we had a sailboat. And we did a lot of camping on that boat, and I'm using my mind set as to what I needed on the boat, as well as what I needed, what I could remember some 50 years ago, what we took when we were tent camping and boondocking. So let me go over the tools that I think you're going to need. Well the first tool that I want to talk about is, is this. It's a tire gauge, deflators, and you screw off the little valve cap on your tire and put one of these on and it deflates your tire to a preset. And then there's some valve stems and a little tool to take them out with. You know, lots of times you're going to be in mud, sand, or gravel and you need to air down. So you need to, an accurate tire gauge, something to air down with. But as well as this though, you're going to need a pump to pump your tires back up. And I do have that. Okay, so that's the first thing you need. That gets you there. And right, once you get there, you're going to set your tent up. You need something to drive the tent pegs into the ground. You need a hammer. And it's just an old hammer. I got two or three hammers. I just picked an old one, beat up, in case I lose it. Why? I haven't lost much. Another thing you might want are some pliers. And I take two sets of pliers. I take a regular plier, and I also take one of these adjustable pliers. Comes in real handy. You never, you're, you're always grabbing a bolt that's too big for this or something that's too big for this, then you need this. Uh, I don't know whether I ever use it or not. I hope I don't need it. This is a crescent wrench. Uh, it's an adjustable wrench. I've got two or three of them, so I thought I'd throw an extra one in. Need something to pry with. I can't tell you how many times I've put tent pegs in the ground and I've had to dig around them to get them out again. Uh, this you can hook right in there and you can pry it right out. It works good for other things too. First aid kit. This came with the car. We have a bigger one. but I just put this here as a reminder. Always take a first aid kit. That's one of your most valuable tools. Next tool is a little saw. It's a little hand saw for cutting trees and limbs and sort of thing. You know, you're going to want to build a campfire. That's one of the reasons you go camping, is to build a campfire. You need something. I have a hatchet that I take, but you need something to saw up some wood. Now, we're not cutting down trees. We're picking up, you know, fallen logs and stuff like that, fallen limbs. And you need something to cut them up with. This little thing, it closes on itself. It's really a nice little tool. Over here we have duct tape. This is Gorilla Duct Tape. I watched a guy online, I think it's called Project Farm, I'm not sure, but he tests things. And Gorilla Tape was the second strongest tape, a duct type tape out there. And this stuff is really good. I've used it, I've used about 25% eh, of this roll, and boy, everything I put it on, it's sticky, 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 and it works really good. It's tough stuff. I don't know whether I ever need this or not, it's a little hand drill. When we were boating, I used this a lot. It has typical size drills strapped to it. Just a little hand drill, you put it there and you just like that. 
I don't know, hope I never need something like that. But just in case, multi-tool. You can't beat a multi-tool. These things used to be really expensive and you can still buy, uh, I think, forgot what brand it is, uh, but they're about 50, 60 bucks a piece, but uh, depending on which one you get. This one here, I bought uh, for about uh, 12 bucks, I think it was, and it's more than adequate. It has all kinds of blades. It's even got a little pliers there. It's got uh, uh, screwdriver heads, assortment. It works really good. It's, it's a nice little tool. I was surprised at how cheap it was. Another tool I always have is a hunting knife. A sharp hunting knife. That's got almost a razor edge on it. You need a hunting knife. Another thing is some wire strippers and cutters and uh, electrical tape. Something I always carry one of these little razor cutters. Cheap, you know, if you lose it out there, you only lost probably what, 50 cents, maybe. Another thing is a screwdriver, and I use the one where you can change the, the heads on it. And I have a little box of heads here with a, an extension. And it just fits right in there, like that. And then here's an assortment of heads. And then this assortment of heads, I bought one of those tools online that uh, it's an electric screwdriver and it, you can screw at any angle, this sort of thing. Well, the, the mechanism died. The battery went dead and it wouldn't work anymore. I couldn't charge it. But I saved all the heads and here they are. I've got a head for everything imaginable. And in this day and age, you need them. There's not just Phillips and slotted. There's Torx. There's all kinds of screwdriver heads that you need now. This has an assortment that will fit anything. So, and it's got a nice little pouch that I carry them in. So between these two, I should have plenty of stuff to uh, tighten up any screw or add a screw or whatever. The last thing is cable ties. You just need them. I don't know what for, but you just need cable ties. This is a little pack of assorted cable ties. I think I got it at the dollar store for a dollar. Very, very cheap. Another thing I always want to carry is a paracord. And this is not only paracord, it has a, a hook. And on the other end, it has a little ratchet. Boy, you can really yank things down. And uh, ratchet straps. I carry four of those. And I use them to tie things down in the back of the SUV. If you have a wreck, you don't want anything flying and hitting you in the back of the head. And I've got two big heavy boxes back there that holds all this stuff. If I'd have a wreck, a head on, why, well, it'd come like a, a rocket, like getting hit in the back of the head of the Mack truck. You don't need that. And last but not least, we got a bag of assorted bungee cords. You know, all different lengths, all different sizes. Uh, they are super handy when you're tending. So, I think... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, this is my assortment of tools. And if you see something I've missed, be sure to put in the comments below a tool that you use all the time while camping. We would appreciate the knowledge of your experience. Well, my channel is boondocking, off-roading, e-biking, photography, and woodworking. <laughs> Got to be something there for everybody. And it all started with photography. Getting out there, getting in places where I can take great landscape shots. So I appreciate you watching. Be sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. And... Pass along here to people that you know. Maybe they've got good ideas too, or maybe they could learn something here. So in the meantime, you keep your shutter clicking and your wheels turning, and I'll catch you on a rebound. Bye now.